Hi everybody, it's me, Legardo Lax, and I'm also known as Chino and Artie. I'm going to be doing a, a test control, a uh, con controller test on these PlayStation 4 controllers. Uh, the reason why is that um, I have my supervisor asked for my help, so I was like, okay, fine. And his name is Kui, great guy. Um, where I work at, we only have to speak Spanish, trust me. You, yeah, that's how I can describe it. Uh, Kui's a great guy, so I'm here to help him out with this um, uh, PlayStation 4 controllers. He has this limited edition. You know, gray. I mean, it even has the the logo in color. That's amazing. I mean, um, and he's asking me if there's anything wrong with them because when he's playing Call of Duty, uh, it tends to go by itself, like by running on the left analog. All three of them he claims. But so far, from my experience, from uh, checking it out, which I already did a pre-test through my computer and calligraphy, calligraphy, uh, calibrating. Sorry. Uh, everything is fine. Uh, first, let's start with this controller. Um, this one. Oh, I can start to focus this camera. As you can see, right now, it's dead center, right there. So when I left the controller here, it goes perfectly right there. Dead center. See. Now let's see. The Z-axis is the other side. The Z axis is fine right here too. Perfect. And analog triggers. It's fine. Nothing wrong with this controller. Controller number two. Come on, next patient, you're next. All right. You know, you can find these controllers too in the Goodwill if you actually can dig in there and find it. Because <laughs> I came across a very, very good find. I got, I found two um, computer uh, accessories that are very, very rare. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Now, let's uh, reset the, the software. Uh, you can do this test on... Um, on Windows, you have to just type in USB controllers and it shows game controllers. Do the search on your Windows 10. So, so far, looks fine. Dead center. Your Z axis is, ooh, I'm pressing the other ones. Z axis is dead center. So, thrusting in and up and down, see? Looks fine. Control, uh, analog left and right. All fine. Now, there's some times when you're playing a video game and you just paired your controller or even just plugged it in like the N64. What happens is that if you're holding, like for example, when you have to plug it in and you're or even pressing the button and you're pressing up or down like that, it's going to look at that as a dead center. So you're going to always be running. <laughs> uh, now I'm opening this guy up and let's uh, test if this is fun. He claims that these don't work. That's the reason why I just stack them in the car and then he found them. So, let's test it out. Ooh, man, this feels great. Hmm. It has a little different texture to it compared to the other ones. Alright, that's a PlayStation Gray controller. <laughs> I mean, the theme of the original PlayStation. As you can see, we are going to test this one, and I'm surprised it's not all gray everywhere. Two-tone gray. Now let's retrieve the software. Click cancel over here. Go back to properties. Now I'm back to, again on wireless control. Okay. Digital pad. Working fine. Left analog. Dead center. The Z axis, all fine. And I'm, oh wait, I was pressing the other buttons as well. See, and the top it, let's check out the, yeah, the, these triggers are fine too. So, um, oh yeah, amigo, los tres controles, todo bien, nada, nada, problemas, no error. Uh, okay, and um, just to mention, um, 
comparing it from the PlayStation controllers uh, from the color. Let's see what we got right here. Almost identical color, basically. Um, it's almost the same gray tone. But uh, this is actually from the PlayStation Classic. And uh, I do have the original PlayStation right here clicking it in my, in my television. I just have to go grab the other controller. I believe the other controller is right next to my PlayStation 2. Oh, yes it is. Okay. There you are. Yeah, look at that. Same proprietary plug. And let's seek the comparison from colors. Yeah, the evolution. The evolution. The design of these controllers came from originally from Nintendo, obviously. So, um... From there... From there... Now, let's keep on moving on. Now, let me try the FC Twin. Identical to it, too. Alright, so, so far, the, the controller tests I've done, there's no errors on them. Um, this is for a friend of mine. I'm just making this video blog for for me to forward to him to show him that everything is fine. So, the controllers are fine, and there's nothing wrong with it. And if the game is still doing that, please, uh, if you start pairing the fall, I mean the controller to your console, please uh, don't press any buttons. Everything's fine. This one's great. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll be making a review soon on uh, Goodwill uh, thrifty shopping stuff, which I was inspired by. Uh, I was very inspired by LGR, and uh, what else? Uh, Oh, I'm, I'm going to make some shout-outs, so shout-outs to Izzy, shout-out to Dominique, thank you for uh, responding to my uh, YouTube channel. These are the guys I work with, and we work at this place called Renaissance Food, something like that, but uh, we work. I work under the USDA department, so um, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.